What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and as I do every Monday my friends today I'm going to take some time and go over some of the feedback you've sent the channel over the last week. I'd like to talk about things we can expect to see in the game this week as well as other fixes we hope to see very soon. Now if you happen to enjoy this video do me a favor and hit that like button. It really really does help the channel out. I really appreciate that support and as always feel free to subscribe or join if you want as well. Now we do have giveaways here but I will save that until the end of of the video. Now as far as Season 10 goes, in my opinion Season 10 brought a lot of great stuff to the game, but unfortunately it also brought a lot of bugs and visual glitches, things like that, so we're going to cover all basics as we move on. Now the first thing I want to go over really quick has to do with the fact that today happens to be the last day you can get double XP for the first 15 shade levels that you gain while the first manhunt target is active. Now one thing to be very clear, the manhunt target will still be available, but the ability to get that double XP initially will not. Now you can see on the screen here I've already completed those first 15 shade levels. I'm sure most of you have by now. But for those of you that have not been able to do that as yet, I strongly recommend if you can take that time because it can really help you out as you start your seasonal progress. Now tomorrow also marks the beginning of the Trig League. And of course once that goes live I will be putting together a video on you know just some tips and tricks and how to really maximize your gameplay as well as the details of the league itself. Now the next thing I want to touch base on has to do with the known issue. And some of these are changes that we thought we would see in Title Update 16, but it turns out most of them are coming in 16.1. We're just going to go down the list really quick. So first of all, starting with the Season Pass, and I'm not going to bore you by reading all of them word for word. Of course, I will leave a link to the notes in the description down below. That way you can check them out anytime you want. And as we look down all of these issues, you can see that all of the fixes are ready for TU 16.1. Now, we haven't been given an exact date as yet. However, I really think it's going to be next Tuesday, the 27th when they roll out the first apparel event. However, once they get confirmation of that, of course I will pass that information along. Now moving on to some of the issues that players are having in Countdown. You can see here, hunters can shoot the agent while they are in cover behind the concrete barrier at a certain location. And not only that, agents can fall through the map after attempting to take cover on a cargo container with trash. And I've noticed, and this isn't listed here, but I've also noticed that in the game when you're hitting up certain countermeasures, you're not prompted to act actually deactivate them. So you roll up to them and there's nothing you can do to turn them off. If you've encountered that, please let me know as I'm trying to just get an idea of how many people that's happening to. Now at this point, I want to skip ahead to the known issues about named weapons and gear because this is something that a lot of you have reached out to the channel about. So starting with the gear, both the Closer and Uzina gear brand set pieces players acquired during Season 9 appear to be affected, and the fix is ready for TU 16.1, and players should get back the same attributes they had before TU 16. All high-end assault rifles have rifle damage as core attributes. Again, that fix is ready for 16.1 as well. And as we make our way down the line, you can see a list of other things that are going on in the game. Now, they do not show when they expect to fix it. I hope it's in 16.1, and again, once I have that information, I'll pass it along. Now, the last thing I want to cover on all of these pages is the section simply titled as Other, and thankfully, all of these seem to have their fix ready for 16.1. So starting off at the top, players can get stuck after interacting interacting with the depart button at the end of both raids. Countdown difficulty instead of raid difficulty appears when selecting the difficulty of any raid from the raid pilot. The travel to boo option from pilot and mega map are not functioning in raids. Directives reset after traveling to another server. The technician and survivalist ammo is still displayed after the specialization weapons are hidden from the change gameplay settings. And not only that, the signature weapon remains hidden regardless of the chosen settings. And finally at the bottom, legendary difficulty for Tidal Basin, the laser boxes are too tanky. Now honestly, I haven't made it that far as yet, but apparently that is a major thing, and all of these things have a set fix for 16.1. There now happen to be a few more things I want to go over really quick, and again, these are questions a lot of you sent the channel. First of all, you're talking about the exotic drop rate in the open world, and it seems absolutely abysmal. Now again, it all depends who you talk to, but I can say for me, I've done countless runs of Countdown, haven't seen an exotic, I've been doing a whole 
whole comparison video series. You'll see it hopefully later this week. But I farm hundreds of named bosses. I do a bunch of different, you know, uh, uh, control points, things like that. I've yet to see an exotic drop. Now do me a favor, in the comments section down below, let me know what your experience has been like because I'd love to hear your feedback. And the main reason I asked for that is I've also heard from people saying they're getting exotics nonstop. And look, we all know in this game it's RNG. You're going to have good sessions and bad sessions. However, it I, I know for me, since Season 10 dropped, it's been absolutely just non-existent. So I'd love to hear from you as well. Last but not least today, some of you have reached out to the channel asking why you're not getting those shade proficiency caches when you level up. And the main reason for that is because right now we are in the middle of a season. So if you are between your seasonal level 1 and 100, you're going to get the seasonal rewards. However, you will not receive that proficiency cash that you're used to getting every time you level up your watch. So again, once you get past level 100 in the season, you will start seeing those again. But until then, you're just going to get the seasonal rewards. With all that being said, my friends, I'm going to start to wrap this up. And in my opinion, season 10 brought more pros than cons. But unfortunately, these cons are really affecting people's gameplay. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please let me know and I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, we do have giveaways here. Our current one is for a PlayStation 5. To enter, all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter and the winner will be announced on October 2nd of this year. On that note, I'm going to start to wrap this up. As I mentioned before, if you can do me a favor, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button. It really, really helps the channel out. You can hit that subscribe or join button as well. However, most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Detecting additional hostile contacts.